What's up guys, we're gonna bro beats and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some dark melodic vocal samples, especially if you have V block. So I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible. We're gonna be starting with our guitar. Um, so you might wanna get a guitar cause it'll just be more on par for the style um, that we're going for. Uh, so um, moving here, we wanna grab in a scale and I'm just default to my F sharp minor just because it's my favorite um, and it's just easier for me. Now you can use any one of these that you want, it's up to you, but um, let's go in here and we're just gonna start on the root and we're just gonna make a chord like this. And the easiest way to kind of get this sound is just to go up one in the scale and then just adjust the notes. Just like that. Um, so from here, there's plenty of ways you can kind of recolor the chord. Um, you could make a chord backwards like this. But that's kind of sound a little bit more like lo-fi-ish. Um, but what you could do is you could take the very top note, okay? You take these, pull them down an octave, and then you could go ahead and make a chord backwards from there to get some other notes to use, right? And then we, we know these notes will work because they they literally are the same note. And then you can kind of find another bass note, bass note like this. And that's more on par, kind of like the uh, darker vibe that we're looking for. So I'm gonna shrink this down and we're just going to pull it over, that's it. And I'm gonna just find a nice velocity. I kind of like that. Let's see. I mean, I kind of like it soft. All right, so that is our main chord progression. I only got two chords here, but. Like I said, very simple. Let's go ahead and move on to our second guitar. Now we're moving on to our second guitar. So it's the same exact instrument. Um, and you could, if you want to cheat, you could literally just look at the notes you already have right here and just kind of, you know, you can kind of float from one note to another. Uh, so let's go in here and I'm gonna just kind of remember those notes and just click around to see what I like. a little too melodic so i'm gonna pull this right here maybe make a chord backwards and maybe and that actually should work because i remember the c sharp there let's copy it over and just make a variation so we could just do something like this right and then let's make a chord upward offset it a bit let's see what it sounds like that a little bit softer okay just and I'm editing the velocity just so we can get some life in there because we don't want everything to be the same velocity because it'll sound more robotic even though it doesn't matter in this video because we're just trying to get something down quick so that is our counter we're gonna go ahead and move on to our vocal all right, so for our vocals, we're using Arcade. It's just the easiest thing to do. You could record your own vocals, which would probably sound better, but this is just a quick way. Um, so I'm using Talking Circles and Hooked, F sharp minor, okay? And I'm gonna just throw something down. I might speed it up if it takes too long, but usually it's super easy. We just want like a nice pattern we can repeat, so. I just want something smooth. I'm not trying to like do anything crazy. I kind of like the first part of that. Let me see.
probably edit that a little bit. So I'm gonna just copy this. I'm, I don't wanna take too long doing this. We'll just use that, whatever. Okay, I think I'm gonna use that, that's good. So finally, let's go ahead and add the bass and then we'll add some effects to kind of make this sound a lot better. All right, next up we have our bass. Okay, and this is just, you know, you gotta have the bass in there. So uh, let's go down here. We can just copy this, right? So go down here. I kinda want this to be. Okay, I think that's good. This is perfect. All right, so now we need to clean it up because this sounds way too dry right now. Right, we wanna make it kind of ambient and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and we'll add some effects. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the effects. So the only thing that I actually really messed with was the vocal. Everything else I just kind of threw a preset on. Um, so for our main guitar, this is what it sounds like off. And then I just threw a portal on top, custom preset, use Iceman preset in Bermuda. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much like a moving filter. So I'm gonna turn it on. Right, and then for our guitar here, um, this is off. And then this is the preset counter ambience and this is literally what it says it is it's just ambient so if i turn it on and i'll turn it all the way up right and i just turn that down to about 50 percent probably could spread that out a little bit more that guitar to come through a little bit more um so for the vocal we have vocal bender um and i just messed with the format a bit i, I didn't think the vocal really needed it um, but i just wanted to change it up a bit we added some delay okay just basic delay just turned down 33 percent and then some distortion because usually with like the travis scott stuff it has like some distortion so i just threw a little bit on i don't really like the sound i think it's a little harsh but it's a part of the, the sound and then for the eq so for the EQ, I kind of did this little bubble thing or this little notch. I think this is called a notch. But yeah. So basically it's going to put like a dip so you can have two um, EQs in one. And this is, and I'll have this one so that I can let that distortion come through. And then this is just a regular um, EQ to make it kind of like sound in the background. So, I mean, then we have auto pan and this is just a free version. Um, so yeah, it's just auto pan. Those are the settings that I have. Okay. So I'll play it off. And that's pretty much the difference. So that's everything. And then on top, I just threw on a quick little thermal preset. Um, loop master detuned in infrared uh, right here. And I just put it to 50% to give it like a rotary sound, like the guitar sound. So it's just off. Okay, that's pretty much it. So I'll play it one more time through. Um, I'm gonna turn this off because I want the bass to shine through. Uh, so I don't know why this isn't looping, but we'll just do this. Boom. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.